These vocals. You better have those vocals if you're gonna cover Red Velvet. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Stacy's So Bad is one of the best debuts I've heard this year. Definitely going to be in my top five rookie groups of the year for 2020. It's just such a masterfully crafted song. The envy I think is a little lackluster. It, it, it's good for what it suits its purpose for. It's very colorful, it's cutesy, um, it's vibrant, but lackluster in comparison to the song, which I think is just masterclass in terms of just pop music really catchy what an amazing hook the chorus is just unbelievable it has such a great lead up to it really really impactful i love that song so much uh so now we are actually going to check out a little medley they did of different popular songs from different artists and kind of spin the songs i guess it's like they do i guess they're doing like red velvet psycho and then this is the original SM version, and now this is Psycho if it was done with YG producers, and they'll switch it up, I'm sure. The YG one will be a bit more uh, like harsh, swaggy, uh, a bit heavier in the beats. That's what I'm expecting, so I can't wait to see this. If you guys are interested on Patreon, I reacted to their debut comeback stage, well, I guess debut stage, not comeback stage, for So Bad. Uh, it's uploading now, so I don't know if it'll be up like right when this video releases, but that is something that you guys can get in terms of exclusive content. I do live stages, variety shows, uh, reality shows, what have you, any long form content, full album reactions, and it's the beginning of the month, so now is the absolute best time to sign up and get the best bang for your buck. Uh, so yeah, that is is uh, patreon.com slash kpop prince if you're interested but uh let's just hop into this let's do it this is stacy covering a whole multitude of groups i also i don't know if this is is this is this going to be the whole see see how it says members up here it's because i was searching so i was trying to find out who is in this video i don't know if this is going to be the whole group or just the vocal i, I don't know who's in this because i don't know the members yet Oh, her eyes. Holy shit. Also, Lisa? Is that you? Does anyone get that? Does anyone get a little Lisa vibe from her? These vocals. You better have those vocals if you're going to cover Red Velvet. YG? Yeah. And then you get those like Middle Eastern like vibes that YG always puts in to their rap verses and their songs. So interesting. So is that the Magne on the left? Because I remember she had short hair in the So Bad video. Her voice, the lower register of her voice. Amazing. I don't know if that's her though. So cool, that's awesome. They even look like they're from the Kill This Love video. God, they sound so clear. I'm so interested in seeing how they make the sounds. JYP? Upbeat, catchy, little cutesy. This is twice did how you like that. Hey, come on with that remix. This this kind of uh like arpeggio like synth that you hear in the background. I love this. I wish we could get like a recorded version of this. They're showing off their versatility here. Cute. 
what's next? Ah, uh, I don't really know this song super well. I've, I mean, I've heard the chorus before. This is just a really great way to show off not only their vocals, but their charms and the way they can emote when they're singing makes them just so incredibly likable. Oh, the bass line. Funky bass. So what about this makes it big hit? I don't, I, I haven't reacted to enough big hit artists. I think just what BTS, um, TXT, and then I guess you could say what I think Seventeen and um, G Friend are under them now, but I think they already found their identity. They have their sounds. I don't think big hit really influences them terribly outside of funding them. So their MVs might look way way cooler, right? Seventeen, I. 17 under big hit now? I don't know. You guys probably know better than me. But what does big hit sound? It's very funky. Kind of like jazzy in a way. My favorite BTS song. The mixing of this is so good. Their voices sound great. I like the casual choreo. <laughs> I like how they're doing the choreo, but sitting. Ooh. Okay. SM, vocally driven here as if this was like a round table with red velvet, but you include that kind of experimental mix of genres, electronic uh, distorted bass, I suppose, that SM likes to do. This version's cool as hell. Damn, that's awesome. So is that their thing? Is that their gang sign? Who else? Is it is it Stacy that I called out before as a gang sign, or was that was that Purple Kiss? No, it was Purple Kiss. They do like an X kind of thing for a kiss. Stacy does this. That's their gang sign. They go, yo, we're Stacy. Anyway. I really like this a lot. That was awesome. So it was all six of the members, right? There's six of them. And they did a group of three, a group of three, I guess, to get, uh, and then put them all together at the very, very end there. So, man, these are really, really talented girls. And I know that you guys had mentioned that they come from, a, not where they come from, but that uh, they work with a primary producer, Black, what's his name? Is it Black? Black Pill song, right? Something like that. He is renowned for working on a lot of, lot of big uh, songs from big groups like Twice. And uh, so there's a lot of uh, hype and hope with this group. And I think with their debut track, they just knocked it out of the park. And I'm pretty sure that anything else that they're going to come out with in the future is certainly on my radar. And I'm very interested in just learning who these girls are, being able to distinguish between them. I am pretty sure that So Bad was just a single release, right? I, I don't think it came with a debut mini album. If it did, I need to check out those B-sides. But you guys let me know if there's any other kind of like variety content or some kind of behind the scenes stuff that I can maybe get to know these girls better, uh, distinguish who they are and get a feel for 
for, I guess, their talents and what they're like, because I'm fully on board with Stacy. Again, if you guys are interested, uh, patreon.com slash kpopprints, you can see the Stacy debut stage on there that I reacted to. If it's not up right now, it will probably be up tomorrow. It takes a while to upload things to Dropbox, which is how I deliver my content to my patrons, but you could find uh, album reactions on there, live stages. I already got uh, live stages for a lot of different groups. We got album reactions to um, Itzy, to NCT, to ATs. We've got variety shows for uh, G-Idol, NCT, lots of, lots of different stuff on there. So that's all for me. Thank you guys so much. If you are new here, I would love if you subscribed, like this video, leave a comment down below. I read everything that you comment, so do not say mean things. It will hurt my feelings. But that's all for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,